Okay, so we are now creating so much code that these kind of pull requests are real. And yes, this is a real pull request that I had to review and submit. But don't get me wrong, whatever you call it, AI coding, vibe coding, um, it's awesome and I'm having a good time with it. But then again, I have been doing this for about 16 years and often I have to slap AI's hand when it's doing something that it should not be. I just wanna take the time today to talk about like kind of the state of the union of like software engineering and what it has to do with AI and what we're doing with it today. Good thing, we are coding faster than ever. If you need something, if you wanna build something, you can do it, it can be done. Bad, we are coding faster than ever. And this is creating kind of like bottlenecks of like people wanting to review before we ship a bunch of stuff off to production. We need to at least have some knowledge of like how things are put together and uh, some awareness of what is being built before shipping it off to the next level. And in my opinion, that's, that's a good bottleneck to have some checks and balances to make sure that there are real people that have knowledge of like what's in production and how things are running and how they are running the business. Another good thing, Learning curves are essentially zero. They, they don't exist. You can jump into any code base now and have a real insight into how the code is structured, what it means, what the history is, and like ask any sort of back and forth questions with AI like right next to you and be able to get real answers of how the code is running. Even if it's in a language that you're not familiar with, you can get a good feel for how things are working and be able to use context clues and an AI helper to build new code in that code base that you've never been in, been in before. Bad is that overdependence is like a real thing. Uh, if you just constantly are approving any of it, everything and you have everything that comes through and you're like, yeah, it's smarter than me, it's good to go, then that is an over-reliance and your critical thinking skills will just atrophy and we're gonna have a hard time when we get into a situation where uh, the code isn't doing what we're wanting and no one really knows what's going on. You still need awareness of what's happening and how it could be a bad thing. Good thing, tech debt should be a thing of the past. We now have the power to clean up anything that we've really been annoyed with in the past, to be able to take a little bit of time out of our day and our week, and instead of building features and fixing bugs, we could clean up tech, tech debt in a very fast, clean way with the assistance of AI. The bad side? you literally have no excuses anymore. If you wanna complain or like say that something is not working the way it should be or it's it's shaped weird, then you don't really have an excuse. Just put up a PR and, and fix it. Like you don't have an excuse why you shouldn't have tests, why you shouldn't have documentation. Even if you have AI to like build that for you for the most part, you don't have an excuse for not doing it at all. This, it should have reduced the barrier so low that you should be able to do the work and just stop complaining, really. And I've been saying this for years, we've all been saying this for years, that the industry is changing and is probably gonna be different a month from now, next year from, uh, from now. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you did like this video, go ahead and check out this other one somewhere here, where even some companies are changing how they are interviewing for engineering in 2025, right? But either way, thank you for staying this long and, it, and then I'll probably see you guys in the next one. See ya.